They are members of a club, as they call it, no one wanted to join. They are Madoff victims. We're not the rich. The majority of the victims are just normal people who saved and were honest and paid their taxes. 62-year-old Maureen Ebel was a retired nurse and recently widowed when she learned Bernie Madoff had stolen her life savings. She sold her home and got a job as a maid. She's now trying to renew her nursing license. One of the reasons we want the story out there is also to warn Americans that this can happen to them. If it happened to me, it can happen to you. Maureen and 28 other Madoff victims authored a book describing their devastation. One of those victims, Emma DeVita, the 82-year-old, now broke. I feel very let down. There's times when I feel so disgusted that I could say I could take a sleeping pill and go to sleep and not wake up and not face any more of it. But then there's times when I say I'm not going to let him beat me. Norma Hill, another retired widow, is one of the few victims who actually met Madoff. He knew that my husband had recently passed away. Uh, he knew that I had five children, all in various stages of education, including one in a residential treatment center. He puts his arm around me and he says, um, don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Instead, Madoff stole every dime of Norma's money. I, I find it very difficult to believe that somebody would deliberately try to destroy other people. The devastation that Bernie Madoff caused running a criminal scheme out of the Lipstick Building here in Midtown has been well documented. But what is just now becoming abundantly clear, a year after Madoff went to prison, is that his victim's suffering has not diminished a bit and likely never will. Outside Madoff's old headquarters in Midtown, Charles Leaf, Fox 5 News. Stay connected with MyFoxNY.com mobile. Download the iPhone app or text Fox 5 to 46988 for other devices. Local news, weather, and traffic on the go with MyFoxNY.com mobile.